on Live Wire, we've got a great show for you today. We're going to have film producers, film writers for the A Place Called Sacramento Film Festival, which is coming right up. Uh, unfortunately, it's sold out, but you're going to see how uh, this works, how Sacramento people can make their own films to be shown in big theaters and, uh, and meet the actors and some of the directors and producers. So stay tuned for Live Wire right after this. With me in the studio are Don Spinella and Matt Trammell. Matt Trammell is an actor in Don Spinella's film uh, that she produced uh, uh, for Access Sacramento. And the name of the film is Tono Someso. Oh, you say yeah. that so nicely. Hey, you know, come on. <laughs> but I don't know what it means. <laughs> You don't? All right. Well, I wish I'd brought some wine for you to oh, taste. It's about wine. It okay. is. Yes, I'm All glad right. that you asked. I knew Tono these shows were going to get to a good place. That's <laughs> right. Finally. <laughs> Tono Sumiso is, um, it means literally undertones. It's uh -huh. Italian for undertones. And uh, because our story is about a blind woman who dreams of becoming a master sommelier, which is a wine expert, uh -huh. undertones are what the sommeliers must be able to sense and taste when they're drinking wine or ta or, or uh -huh. um, smelling wine. Yeah. So, Matt, do you play the uh, the expert? Right. Correct. Oh, yeah. So you slip your fingers under the wine glass. That's like right. This and you do That's stuff right. Like I didn't know much about it at all until <laughs> until doing this. Yeah. Uh, the undertone of this <laughs> is really. You got that down pretty good. <laughs> the research for this film was the best. I've never yeah. had it. The research yeah, was really was. fun. It really was. Yeah. Really fun. You're mm. still hangover from mm. it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the woman who wrote it, Donya Barrows, uh -huh. is um, she's a certified sommelier. Oh, and uh, so this story is really personal to her. And uh -huh. she did. She took me out and we did some wine tasting. And it was a whole different experience, really. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's great, great. It's, great, it's great, really yeah. fun. Well, you know, I know there's a, a, a Wine Spectator magazine, and, and I had met the guy that, that founded that once, and we, he talked to me. It was like in a foreign language when he was talking mm. about his wines. And uh, this uh, Tono Someso is, is, a, is a lovely title. It sounds so romantic, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So um, t tell me a little bit about the story of the piece. I don't know if, anybody, if you're listening. Um, these films are all 10-minute films, and they're going to happen at the a place called Sacramento Film Festival at the Crest this weekend. Yeah. At what time and where? Oh, my gosh. Well, I, I think if you haven't bought your tickets yet, good luck oh, no. getting in. Yeah. But um, I might have one for sale. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. No. Or 500 a, or what? <laughs> right, right. This is the Crest Theater this Saturday evening, and then the show starts at 7. So. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Um, you know, who knows? You know, maybe some people won't show up. You can right. actually go and what do they call that? Skull, skull, skull. Be some people outside scalping yeah, tickets. I don't know. Three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should be pretty cool. So it's it's ours is is actually playing last, right? Well, the film? what I heard was There's they, 10 they total. may alter the the order of them, so oh, okay. we're not really okay. sure. Okay. There's 10 <laughs> films total, 10 minutes each. Ours should be last only because we drink. And then That's we right. can end on yeah. a really happy That's note right. <laughs> and go toast. It's yeah. perfect, it really. Absolutely. Uh, that movie was a corker. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Tell me about the acting, though. Um, so you, uh, you came to an audition here mm. in Sacramento. Or are you from Sacramento? I am, yeah. Oh. And yeah. You, uh, you, did you audition like for all of the all of the ten films? Uh, uh, no, actually, I knew the screenwriter I see. Um, from social media. Yeah, so Hollywood here. And uh, <laughs> oh, so it's all about who you know. It's about who do you know? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, um, yeah. Not a whole lot of uh, acting background, even though it's something I always wanted to do. Mm -hmm. um, I ended up being on a television show just out of odd circumstances a couple mm -hmm. years ago. Um, but um, and I, I actually did a 
if you guys know Sandra D's downtown, mm -hmm. I was a muralist. I'm an artist, uh, and mm -hmm. I did the mural for the renovation for Gordon Ramsay's show down there. Uh -huh. I have a little bit of TV experience, but not a whole lot of acting. So this was really cool because it's something I always wanted to get involved with, and uh, it was a great story. And we, uh, we have a little, we have a little snippet of the film. Oh, uh -huh, okay. We see it. Are you in it? I don't I think don't know. this is. I don't think he's in this because oh, okay. we're his. His stuff is so good, we're saving that. For the <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, smart yeah. of you. No, so I don't want to give that away, man. I should know you. I can't give it away. So let's have a look at the uh, B-roll for Tono Someso, which is a, uh, it's about a, a woman that wants to be a... A blind woman who wants to become a master some, sommelier. Uh, mm -hmm. well, okay, here we go. <clears throat> Ooh, this is so exciting. You're going to be... A song. No, I'll never make it. If people judge wine by its color, there'd be like four wines. And by the way, there are more wines in the world than there are people. That would be a lot of wine. You're missing the point. I know. There's more to me than meets the eye. And don't you forget it. Okay, Fama, who's hungry? Ooh. Oh, oh me. me, here, me. Good, here, man. <laughs> this family and my best friend. Amen. 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 This is a dry but full-bodied Chardonnay. It's a 13% alcohol. It's definitely California. Near Sacramento. <laughs> it's really a wonderful piece. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I don't know, you know, it's... Uh, it's a uh, when, when you do a film it's like hurry up and wait because oh. you, some the key lights off or something like that but Toro Someso at the 19th annual place called Sacramento Film Festival at the Crest Theater uh, doors open at 6 p.m. but don't go there because <laughs> <laughs> it's sold out yeah. it's got it's so so popular and it's such a wonderful thing for our community mm. I don't know yeah. of any um, cable uh, stations uh, and there are uh, at least 20 to 30 of them in, uh, in California that have such a program where you can actually make a film yeah. and um, have it shown up on the big screen and mm -hmm. have 900 people watch it. Right. right. It's a wonderful um, opportunity that Access Sacramento has created. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much for stopping by to tell me about this. And, it was a pleasure, and so really thank good. you. And I wish you two uh, best on your film. Thank you. And uh, in your career, and thank your you. career, well, your career's made. Oh my <laughs> gosh, all right. <laughs> You're hired. Good, good. <laughs> thank you. All right, okay, we're gonna take a short pause for the cause. <laughs> and we'll be back after some important messages with more filmmakers. Right. Yeah, from Sacramento. <laughs> I tell people I have three kids, one of them's adopted, I just don't know which one. I can't imagine having to be in a birth mother's position to make that choice. You know, I was kind of just asking her, you know, what is your motivation, why are you doing this? And she looked at me and she said, because you can give my son a life that, that I could not. We always tell her thank you, he is such a blessing to us. Every day is just a ray of sunshine oh, from him, so. We're Chanda and Brian, and we chose adoption. Nearly half of children with autism wander away from safe places such as their home or school. If you ever see a child walking alone, remember the three S's. Stop to help, seek assistance from police, stay until they arrive. If a child with autism is missing, immediately search places that pose the most danger, such as nearby water and busy streets. To learn more, visit missingkids.com aware. Two, one, screen. Hi, we're back with Livewire. With me in the studio is Romeo Trocino, who is a filmmaker and a film writer on the place called Sacramento Film Festival. Yes, that's, that's correct. good. It's all great. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, you were walking down the street one day, and you think, thought, 
I think I'll make a film. <laughs> yes. Um, it, what caught me because of the, uh, the, 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 the screenplay competition that started the, uh, uh, what kind of like drew me in. Um, one day, uh, I just kind of like wanted to write something that about Sacramento. Mm -hmm. So, and this movie, The Engagement Ring, it's about a guy proposing to his girlfriend in the park and kind of like went through that process. Uh, uh, didn't really know what I want to write, but I kind of started from there, starting with the park, you know, so. I like it. Yes. So, and um, as you, you, you start the idea, you, actually, it's interesting how you put that together. You know, first you thought about the ring, the engagement ring, and then where is it going to be? Well, back alley? No. How about a pretty park? So your idea is more, more romantic. But Correct. then things happen in the film, right? Correct, yes. You can't say what it is. Yes. <laughs> I know, yeah. Well, um, but most people aren't going to, uh, who are watching can't get in now, unless, unless they wait it outside Correct. to see yeah. if there are any They have to uh, come in and watch the film to see what happens. So. That's right, yes. that's right, right. So um, you finish the film and you sent the film in to the, the judges and they picked it. Correct. Yes. So one ten films out of I don't know they get a hundred and two nearly two hundred uh, films in so you you did well yes yeah and um, I'm, you know I'm so glad that they uh, able to pick my um, my story so um, now I'm able to produce it and there's the challenges of making the film so and as a first time director um, it, it was hard so yeah, yeah hard it's not an easy thing directing yes. you know um, unless of course everybody else knows what they're doing. <laughs> then you just turn the key and say okay but I, it's, it's it's fascinating did you get everything you want so here's somebody who not only wrote it but directed it uh, it's a 10 minute film these are extremely hard to make because you have to leave out so much but you have to tell a story right right so uh, we made some well we took a lot of footage but we um, left out a lot of uh, because of the 10 minute um, time frame we mm -hmm. couldn't really put some um, add in there, so um, we, we we did the best we can to tell sure. the story. So, sure. yeah. do we have a little we have a little snippet that we could look at? Yes, that would be very nice. Um, and uh, do you know what the scene is? I'm not sure. Oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> so oh, magic! Yeah. I like it. It's going to happen. Going to happen. So let's uh, let's see this uh, little piece from your film, and your film is called The Engagement Ring. Okay, here we go. You you completely changed my life and. Without you, I don't know where I would be. Are you okay? It's Fred. Okay, I'll wait for you over there. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so tell me, um, how long, many days did you shoot? We shot many couple weekends. Uh, we huh. came to the park, uh, I believe maybe six times uh -huh. to shoot during the early hours of the day because we don't want to shoot like after uh, eleven because yeah, it gets yeah, really people hard, standing so. around yeah. and watching you and asking you questions and yes. laughing and it's cheering. weird because uh, people kind of ask questions. Oh, what are you guys looking for? You know, it's like uh, okay, because like kind of like brings the reality of the the film. It's like we were looking for something. So uh -huh. yeah, okay. And it was it fun? Did you enjoy yes, the, the filmmaking? Yes. And I always for a ten minute film, you know, you have to kind of judge your angles and how much film you you do. Right. Um, it, it, that process is a little bit uh, tough because uh, I didn't have a storyboard to go by with. So we just kind of like, it, it, we just kind of like, uh, I think this scene will be better shot this angle, you know, the couple uh, different angle of, of the scene also. So uh, it probably helped if we actually did a kind of storyboard on the process. Sure. Yeah, yeah you know, uh, not all films were uh, shot from storyboards, especially uh, Buster Keaton's early films. You know, he thought, you see, oh, hey, there's a tree over there. Uh, hey, come on, guys, bring the camera over right. here. And they would take some film, film, I mean, I guess there's a kind of a quotient, a, a, a number of how many feet of film you can shoot. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's like, it used to be that, that a feature film had 10 times more scene and film 
than the film it will end up right. being. That's correct. Yeah. You know? And with him, you know, there are whole scenes that are left out and maybe used some other films. Right. I don't right. know. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, as you moved along and working with uh, uh, these folks, uh, the actors, and then also all the technicians and all that, some of them, I mean, the, the technicians knew that you had to, like, mm -hmm. set the light and the light's got to be even. Right. right. And that was uh, tough because uh, we mostly shot outside. Um, like 90% is pretty much the outdoor. Mm -hmm. We didn't use uh, uh, lighting, but we used a lot of like reflectors and stuff. But mm -hmm. um, I think uh, the hardest part is the, you know, what light, what sunlight you're gonna get that day. So yes. sometimes it'll be like too bright, or maybe we, when you shoot too early in the morning, it'll be a little bit darker. So mm -hmm. a lot of adjustment on the lens, you know, when you're filming it. So good, yeah. good, good. It's very creative what you did. And I think it's interesting. Is that like, a, do you work in a creative field or are you a bureaucrat with the government? No, yeah, I just work. But yeah, this is a, a fun hobby for me. But uh -huh. you know, I, I enjoy it. So good. Yeah. This is good. And did you do you have to do with the casting, you know, the, the actors? Yes, I read I, for you. Mm -hmm, they did. Uh, I think we did some uh, um, uh, audition. Yes. You know, I got the actors from there too. Um, uh, and then we have to recast too also. So do a couple some, um, it's funny because some, some uh, audition, they could do it online now. You know, it's like, hey, you could watch their audition on, on, on a video. Yeah, so it's kind of. Uh, that's the way they do it now. Itself. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, there's something missing in that. Interacting with the actor, and you know, you get a sense of maybe that actor could do the role, right. but you really wanted to see a kind of a transition, let's say like a going from anger to right. to fear. Mm -hmm. right. uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, because you could just put um, the description of what you want, and then the actors will actually play the role, you know, so, and then you could see Okay, so that's how they interpret your, you know, your description of a scene, you know, so. Well, I don't think I get to get to show your, uh, your film, but uh, I do want to say thank you so much, Romeo, for no coming problem. to talk to me, and I wish you well in all your great filmmaking. Awesome. The Engagement Ring will be played at the 19th Annual Place Called Sacramento Film Festival on October 6th. That's coming right up at 7 p.m. at the Crest Theater. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, as I'm told, uh, just as we started the show, it's sold out. I know, thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Okay, we're gonna take a short pause for the cause right now. And if we can ever find what happened to the engagement ring, we'll see if we can throw it on. So take a pause, we'll be back after this important message. Problems, the ones nobody talks about at cocktail parties. We go looking for them. No matter the obstacles, no matter the odds, we surround a community's most critical problems, and we fight. United Way fights for the health, education, and financial stability of every person in every community. Will you? I'm Matt Martin, and I've had my fair share of bruises and injuries. But for many who put their lives on the line every day, it's not always the injuries you can see that hurt the most. Every single day, 184 veterans are diagnosed with post-traumatic stress. When medications and therapy don't help, professionally trained service dogs can. American Humane has created a free guide to help veterans obtain these life-saving animals. For help, please go to AmericanHumane.org. We're back with Live Wire, and thank you uh, very much for watching this because it's a very interesting uh, topic, and I get to do it every year and have for <coughs> a number of years to talk to filmmakers like you, William Mendoza, yes. who uh, has made a film that came out of their own experience, and uh, tell me a little bit about about how you came to write this uh, this film called Just In Time, and what is it about? Well, first off, I want to say thank you to the entire cast and crew that worked on the film. They were oh, amazing. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, this film would not have been done without them. Um, 
and God, most importantly. God, okay, yeah, absolutely. God. Uh, I'm a man of faith, and I wrote about a film that um, that I'm able to honor a friend of mine who passed away, uh-huh. um, but also uh, glorify the Lord. Yeah. And um, it's a story of hope, and uh, we know in this world that uh, a lot of pe- a lot of people can be hopeless. And I want to show how the Lord uses the least expect the least expectful per- least expected person that um, He can use anybody. So uh, it's a story of hope and how His purpose gets fulfilled, even though we may not know it's getting fulfilled. That uh, God is using us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So um, when you wrote this this uh, this piece and you submitted it, right. um, then uh, you were accepted. And then you thought, oh no, now I have to make a film. Do you have any background in it? You know, I've been, I've been actually working at this studio here at uh, Livewire, working with a great team here. And, uh, you know, um, I prayed a lot, put it that way. <laughs> and I know that the Lord put uh, the right people around me. He surrounded me with the right people. It could not have been done. It was amazing. Well, in this studio, there's a lot of good folks uh, who yeah. uh, have... Uh, uh, Talents and There's a I'm sure you brought them to the to the uh, absolutely. Yeah, 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 I definitely uh, uh, made some calls. Good. Yeah. So, uh, what's the story? How, how does the story uh, follow? Um, is it your friend's life? Who yeah, lost, it's a friend of mine who uh, who lost his life tra- tragically around 11 years old. A good uh, one of my best friends, and um, I wanted to honor his life. Um, and it's a story before he passed away, and 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 a journey, a journey of faith. And it's a journey of us, uh, us young, uh, young men uh, on a journey of faith. And, um, well, to honor him, you have to say his name. That, Leslie James, of course, <laughs> it's Leslie James. And uh, amazing young man. And um, his family's going to be there, which is amazing. I can't wait for his family to come show up. They're going to see their, their, their son who passed away on film. And I haven't spoken with them in 35 years, but um, they get to see him come back to, to well, life and good. spirit. Yeah. Good. You know, I mean, uh, using um, your life in, uh, in films right. is, a, uh, in, is an important, uh, you know, creative act, you know, right. where you bring it and then it goes where it's going to go. That's right. You know, and uh, I've seen it happen over and over again where, you know, it's, it's not uh, uh, this one film. It's, it's the husband was actually the film star and it's in the writing of the film the wife becomes the film star and it works better yeah that's right you know so do you make did you make changes to some of the scripting as you went along absolutely yeah. there's tons of changes and tons of advice i had advice from uh, uh, a bunch of writers and so forth and, yeah. and uh, a lot of input even from actors young actors too. oh yeah I'm sure they were no really like amazing like their advice I, I made sure that i was open like i went in being open open to taking suggestions yeah. and knowing my, knowing my place too. Uh, I also directed it too, so that was also a challenge. But uh, it was only a challenge because it was something that I was, it was new to me, um, but I had a great support system around me, so which was great. Good, you know, and actors, if you're, if you're able to manage uh, the input from actors, they can actually bring you some very creative uh, moments and, you know, if, what if I turn this way and, and then look back? That's right. Oh, yeah, that's better, uh, better filmmaking. Hey, you know, I hope we have the B-roll uh, for this one and yeah. we can see it and have a look at it. And tell me a little bit about, do you know what, what the, the cut is? Let's check it out. I have no okay, idea. Check it out. Okay, I'm let's do about it. to find this out. Okay, this is from William Mendoza's piece, and it's called... Just in Time. Just in Time, which is a name, Justin. That's right. Time. Yeah, okay, here we go. We'll return in a mo. In a mo. <laughs> <laughs> and see, we are the film now. That's right. Well, <laughs> I can't think of any funny lines. You know, I'm excited to see everybody, all these other films and these great uh, writers and, and, and everybody involved in this whole process. It's amazing that... Uh, I've been, uh, inter- in, uh, for the last three or four weeks, interviewing them all. And we do have the B-roll, and we can see it. Here okay. goes. check it out. Take it away. If he doesn't have my paper here by 5 p.m., I'm calling your boss. What time is it? Man, it's four o'clock. We only have one hour to go over all these newspapers. Let's hurry. There's one in my house wins and the loser buys the winner of soda and candy. Man, you always cheat. Man, let's get some ice cream. Dude, we can't. We'll be late. That's 
It's Brenda. She's the hottest girl in school. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. It looked like a really good uh, start for a much longer film. It is, it is. I'm glad they didn't give it all away because uh, there's a lot of great, um, there's two stories playing at the same time and they're inter they're playing at the same time. It's just good. I'm just really excited to see it. Well, I'm so sorry. You cannot uh, uh, <laughs> not show me the whole film. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's too bad. So, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for you to have done that. It looked, I am. I love the introduction. I love Thanks. the music. Thank you. And uh, makes me want to go and see it. Yeah, come join us uh, <laughs> it's this Saturday, October 6th, about 6 p.m. It open, doors open, 7 p.m. Uh, is when it starts. Yeah, you'd have to be really um, solid because if it is sold out, it's sold out. But there it is. It's on the screen right now. It's just in time. William Mendoza, it's fantastic. Great. <laughs> and so um, you plan to do more film? You Absolutely. Do, you like filmmaking? Uh, you know what? The Lord has been guiding me. I know it sounds crazy. Um, you know, they say when you talk to God, you're religious, but when he talks to you, you're psychotic. That's what I, that's what I thought. But I'm telling you, God is real, you know? I've, um, he's been guiding me to get into film. So I'm really like, uh, my life is headed towards that direction. Obviously, this is my first film. Yes. Um, and I'm actually um, kind of going all in now. So I'm really excited about this. Well, I wish you well, and I wish you um, keep that connection going. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, well, that's it for today. We've been, uh, I think uh, next week I may have a couple more filmmakers to, uh, to have before. Well, it'll be over, won't it? <laughs> we'll Am I see the last you. one? Yeah. Come You're the see last us. one. Yeah, exactly. You did good. All right. All right. We'll see you next week on Livewire. Livewire, live at 5. And uh, tomorrow, actually, you can watch this at uh, 7 p.m. All right. That's right. Awesome. All right. So we'll see you then. Ray Tatter, over and out.